This is an unboxing on the Monument 605 Denali massive gas grill. The Denali 605 comes in two large boxes. They're actually packed extremely well. None of my boxes were damaged and everything inside was secure with no dents or dings. Time for a drinky drinky. Oh yeah. Screws, batteries. Okay, we're finally done unboxing. Now we gotta get this thing put together. So we're gonna use the instruction manual on the Denali 605 to put this together so that you can have a manual as well and follow me along with your manual and see how it's done. First thing you'll notice, all the parts. This is a convenient diagram so you can see how everything falls in place. In this first big heavy box, this is the side burner. In the larger square box, those are the doors. In this box is the casters. First, we're going to secure the casters to the base. Then turn the base over because we're gonna right go there? ahead and assemble the sides. Now check this out. It's hard to see, but look at this. All of these are marked with letters, A, E, H. That's absolutely fantastic because you don't have to guess what screws you're using. And I really, really like that about the Monument Grills on how easy it is to help you put this together. Put the screws to the back in the holes first because then we're gonna slide that back piece over the screws, tighten the screws, and we'll be good to go. Really easy design. Now we're tightening up these screws, which will secure the back plate to the sides. Next, we're gonna put in these triangular brackets that are gonna support the door. Super strong. Next, we're gonna install the crossbar that has the magnets for the front doors. Now when you put this together, keep in mind there's an E screw and an F screw. If you try to use the F screws for both of this, then this crossbar is not gonna work. So make sure you pay attention. The instructions are there for a reason. Yeah, Patrick. The next part's where two people come in handy. We're gonna go ahead and put the top on and the lid and lower that on top of the base. Now we're good. Next is the left side burner. So inside this pack, when you're gonna put on the gauge or the dial to the side burner, there's this piece that has to go on first. You'll connect the wire to this. When it's done, you'll then push this on this connector once we get it inside through here and assembled. Here's the side burner fuel assembly here. This is where the knob to adjust the burner fixes in the back. When you put it up here, the holes go directly across from each other. Okay, next we're gonna put in the thermostat monitor, which is right here. Two F screws. What do you think, Patrick? Pretty good. Yeah? That's yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, it is. Each door has a retractable pin. You just pop the doors on and they auto close. Fantastic. Slide in your lower grease director panel. Now where it says replace battery here, electronic ignition. Some people may put the battery in and think you press this to ignite these. You don't. You'll actually start this. And when you press on these, the ignition starts. It'd be pretty funny watching somebody press this for five minutes thinking it's not working. I'm just kidding, I'm punchy. I'm doing it. Install your side tool holders. And then put on the brakes. After hooking up our electronics and the battery pack down below, we're gonna go ahead and test our thermometer. This assembly of the Denali 605 was actually very easy. Having two people makes it a lot easier. You could definitely do this by yourself, probably in two, two and a half hours. We did this in about an hour and 45 minutes total time with two people because we're also shooting, moving the camera, etc. I tried to show you as many things as possible. There's little tiny things that I couldn't get the camera in to show you, such as some of the connectors, but I tried earlier in the video to show you where some of the challenges were to make sure you had certain things lined up. The other thing about the Denali is when you turn on the lights, you have indicators that the burners are lit up. But when you light the burner, the burner will actually stay red, telling you the burner is on. When you turn it off, the red lights go off and press the button, shuts the LED lights off. Very, very cool feature. The other thing I really love is this thermometer and it matches the temperature all the way around. This fluctuates. It looks like it's changing in two degree increments. 
so 55 to 57. These had settled down, these probes. We have ambient air temperature, we've got air coming in from the garage, so it's probably gonna fluctuate a little bit, but we're sitting right around 55 degrees, and it's about 55 degrees outside. And you can see here, the main temperature says 57. That is the temperature of your ambient inside the grill. So all these numbers are matching, meaning the electronics are working properly. I'm really happy to see that. We'll do a cook on the next video and we'll see how these probes work. This also is connected via Bluetooth. We'll get into that later as well. But the Denali, absolutely stunning. It's a fantastic grill, it's rock solid, and I think you're actually gonna love it. Watch my next video and we'll show you how it cooks. Why, why didn't it go red? Oh, that's a blooper. So I wanted to give you some post-build notes when you build the Monument Denali 605. It was very, very easy. There were only a couple little tricky parts to do, but that was just because the way the diagram was laid out, I wasn't really sure how certain things aligned. And so basically having two people to do this grill, I would say makes it a lot easier. It's still super easy if you're one person, it's just gonna take you longer. Having somebody on the outside of the grill while you're underneath to align certain things makes it a little bit easier to do and build the grill quicker. We had the grill built in about an hour and a half. The most difficult part I'd say, if there was any difficulty, was the LED gauge that goes on the side burner to the left as you're looking at the grill. There's a part on the inside that has an angular set of screws that looks like an angle like this. If you're holding it level on, the screw holes here and the screw holes here. However, the screw holes need to be like this, which is the way that it's aligned. Now, if it's one person and you're in the front and, and then trying to align this up and you're in the back, trying to figure out how this lines up, it could be tricky. The rest of it was super, super simple. Everything worked as it should. The wiring was really easy. It's run very well. We were able to clip everything with the locking clips to the battery pack, the LEDs, and the thermometer. Now, the one thing I will say about the thermometer that's really nice is it's just a touch screen. It's not a button you press, you just rub your finger over it and it comes on. The other thing that I noticed preliminarily is that when you had the probes plugged in, all those temperatures matched, which is great, which means the electronics were functioning. The probes that were hanging in the ambient air temperature actually matched the display probe, which was the ambient probe inside the grill. The placement of the probe in the grill, I think is absolutely perfect. It's in the center of the grill, it's down a little bit low by the grates to give you a true reading of the temperature. Now, the one question will be is you have flames that are going and that probe is above an inset from the flame which is about the best you can get i don't like the thermometer dials up on top they're absolutely off on temperature by a lot sometimes 20 or 30 degrees you have the heat that's rolling up inside of that and you're getting the edge temperature versus the temperature down at the center of the grill so i think that the placement of that sensor is in a much better area so kudos to monument for doing that the other thing i love about this is the clear glass and no thermometer in the center of the glass. I have another Monument grill that I absolutely love. It's the Mesa 400. You should definitely check it out. It's a very inexpensive grill compared to other grills and it's a super incredible value. That one has the thermometer gauge on one of the older models in the center. The newer model of the Mesa, they actually moved the gauge up out of that window, which I thought was great because that was my kind of big complaint was cleaning it was a little difficult. So Monument has been really listening to their users they're always making adjustments and innovating things on their grills. They have a lot of models to choose from. And if you have a large family or you do a catering and you do large cooks, the Denali 605 is definitely the way to go. It'll hold a good 33 to 35 good sized hamburgers on there at one time. Who knows how many sausages and certainly over a dozen T-bones will go on that baby easily. So take a look at the Denali 605. It's a great grill and I definitely recommend when it comes to building a grill, this is one of the easier ones to build. I'll be doing a cook coming up, so make sure you subscribe, like this, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little extra details I put in this video because a lot of the build or unboxing videos, they just have a fast video going and it shows you putting it together and you don't get any information. I'm trying to get you information so when you build this grill, any of the kind of challenging areas I think there may be have been answered in this video. If you have any questions, drop a comment. I answer every single question and we'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby!